Canada, the Canadian Environmental Minister, Environment Minister is planning to award a multi-million dollar grant to an organization that will be a watchdog to the federal government to account for its climate control. <laughs> okay, we're talking $20 million here, probably annually. All, it, all that's written here is just $20 million. So let's analyze this. I'm going to hire a babysitter, then I'm going to hire and pay another babysitter to babysit the babysitter because I'm too stupid to babysit. That's pretty bad, you know. No wonder Canada is broke because you're ran by stupid people. Okay, now, continuing on with stupid and Canada, because unfortunately it's starting to go together, you now have the return of many men, big, strong men, dozens of them apparently. They're Canadians, I guess. They're Canadian citizens. I'm not so sure that I would call them Canadians, but they've been detained in Syria. They're over there fighting for the bad guys, okay? They're soldiers. They're killing Americans, potentially, and Canadians, potentially. But they continue to come back to Canada, and Trudeau's government welcomes them, and in many cases writes some checks. One guy notably got a check for $10 million, right? And a pat in the head, and he killed Americans. Killed them. Boom, -a boom, -a boom. Killed them. Bad. Now it's going on again, and the RCMP in Canada said, oh, they're all coming. We have to get ready for this. <laughs> I guess Trudeau's probably getting ready with, you know, big pillows and nice hotel rooms and so on. They're looking to create a strategy to welcome them back into Canadian hood. Hood, these are hoods. I got a car wash here just this morning, and there's a young man there that was helping me, and, and he said uh, he's embarrassed to be Canadian. I said, why? Why would you say that? You're young and you're supposed to like what we have. I'm embarrassed. Look at these guys. He said they bring all these terrorists back and they do this and they do that. And I said, you don't even know part of it. I could really wreck your day, but I chose not to. We live in strange times. Really strange times. In addition to all the nut jobs running these countries, you know, think about it. Poor people are fat. Rich people are thin. That's never happened before, ever. It used to kind of be the other way around Maxime Bernier. Let me just finish today's little chat talking about him and guns. Boom, 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 boom. Guns in the hands of good guys in Canada. I mean, the bad guys, that'll be the liberals running the country. They want to take all those guns away from all the people who have them and don't do bad things just because. Gives them control. It's not gun control, it's people control. Maxine Bernier has come along and said this, make firearm safety courses more widely available, classify firearms based on function, not appearance. A lot of guys with all these little tattoos and holes in their head and different things, it's kind of the same. That's what liberals say. Let's not judge them on appearance. And Bernier is saying it with guns. I kind of like that. Repeal magazine size restrictions. Reimburse gun owners for properties that has been stolen from them effectively by the government. Reclassify firearms through law and parliament instead of the RCMP or cabinet. Canadian firearm laws are broken. I want to fix them. Stop the harassment of law-abiding gun owners. Respect the rights of firearm owners. Too sensible, Max. You're making far too much sense because we get background checks done on us every day. We're good folks. We haven't murdered anybody lately. And you got the government saying that we're bad. Thank you, Max. Get a man on that. In addition to you, get a whole bunch of your guys, get elected, win, and fix this mess. See ya.